I'm going to I'm going to use the textbook called English in Mind Level Two, and today I'm going to teach the passive voice. Okay, we just read the article, the text where boys become crocodile men. Okay, and now we know what the story happens in the tribe, right? Yeah, it's a little bit terrifying. Yeah, something terrible happened there, but is there belief? Is there special ceremony? Okay, but have you noticed that there are some sentences they use a little bit weird. Not weird, but not a very common structure for us. For example, do you remember in the the third paragraph? What is the first sentence in the third paragraph? Can anyone help me to read it out loud? Yeah, the boys. The boys are. Okay, we don't need the rest of rest part of it. The boys are taken to the hut called the crocodile nest. It's fine. We can stop it here. The boys are taken to the hut, right? So now let me ask you some questions. First, who takes the boys to the hut? Do we know that? Okay, yeah. Okay, some people say adults. It's fine because because we know these boys. They are still teenagers. So maybe other adults. Take the boys to the hut. It, uh, it's okay, but yeah, did it say did it say that in the in the text? No. So we can yeah we don't know who takes the boys to the hut, right? Okay. And what about the next sentence? Can you see the next one? The boys are told, right? Can anyone see that? Are told to think about their crocodile mothers and fathers, right? Okay, it, the same question. Do we know who who tell the boys to think about the crocodile fathers and mothers? Do, do we know that, or does it say anything about about this information in the in the text? No, right? We don't know. So when we don't know who do this action, we can use the structure like this. And this is called the passive voice. This is called the passive voice. Okay. Yeah, we don't. We can take slowly. First, the voice is the subject, and what is followed after the voice, the subject? What are these words? Yeah. And what about these words? You know, we, we, we know it's take, right? The original form is take. And this is this is supposed to be tell. But they changed them to, you know, take, took, taken, tell, told, told. What is that? Yeah. The past participates. So this is the main structure for passive voice. Okay, we can keep the subject here and add M is R as well. Like for example, we don't usually use I, but I can use she. She is what they are, the boys are, and the past participate of the verb. Good. Okay, and in what kind of situation? Under what kind of circumstances we will use this passive voice? Do you remember I asked you who take the voice? We don't know. Who tell the voice? We don't know. So when we don't know who do this action, or maybe we know, for example, some people say it's the adults. It's okay. It's right. Actually, it's right. But is it important for us to know? So when we don't know who do this action, or when it's not important, we will use the passive voice. Okay, understand?
Okay, now I'll give you. Um, I'm sorry. Okay, in the text, there are. Let me count. Three other sentences used the passive voice. And now it's your time to find out. To, to find all the three other sentences and highlight it. Okay, I'll give you maybe. Yeah, it's very quick. One minute. Okay. Now, have you found out all the sentences using the passive voice? So, what is the next one? Yes, they are beaten. Ew, it's painful. They are beaten several times. And the next one? Right. Right, they, they use bamboo. The bamboo is used. It means that they use bamboo, but they change the sentence like the bamboo is used. Okay, and the last one is a little bit tricky, a little bit difficult. The last one is in the, yeah, in the end. The men are given. Yes, the men are given, not give, but given. Okay. And now um, let's turn to the page 41. There are more practices for you. I'm going to show you the first example first, and then you have five minutes to finish to fill in the blanks to complete the passive voice by yourselves, okay? Relax, I will show you the example first, okay? Thank you, and this is my micro lesson.